Hey guys, welcome back. It's Meredith here and today I'm going to unbox our April 2024 Limitless kit and essentials kit and it's called Offbeat. So I will jump right in. Um, I do want to start by saying there was a time change in March, but we are in Arizona and we don't change our clocks. So if you are looking for new product and it's not out when it usually is, check and make sure that it's eight o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time, not Mountain Daylight Time, Mountain Standard Time. And, and an easy way to Google that is just say, what is the current time in Phoenix, Arizona? So that is how you'll know we are releasing this at eight o'clock p.m. on the last day of the month, which is March 31st at eight o'clock p.m. in Phoenix time. So I know it's confusing every single spring, everyone gets confused. Everyone starts panicking that we didn't put up our new release, but it's because we don't have a time change. So um, with that, I will just jump right in and I'm going to start with the offbeat papers that come in this kit. So the first paper is going to be this 49 and Market paper from the Wherever line and it's called Just Drive. And this is the A side of the paper. And this is the B side, and the B side is just tone on tone, and it looks like tickets and numbers. But that's the A side. And then the next piece is from Cedar House. It's called Wild Geo. And it's got these animals on one side and this awesome brick color on the other. I'm gonna do this. Like, this way. Sorry. Too many choices here. And the next paper is also from 49 and Market. And this paper is from the Wherever line and it's the Solids Paper 1. And it's just got this nice um, textured paper. It will be great for the background of layouts or matting pictures, stuff like that. And the next paper is also from 49 and Market Wherever and it's called World Traveler and it has this map on the front and another map of the world on the back in tone on tone like gold color. The next paper is also from Cedar House. It's called Hexagons. So it's got this great hexagon pattern on pattern on the A side and of course wood grain on the B side. And next we've got another one from Cedar House called Cassettes. And it's all kinds of vintage cassettes and this teal um, texture. It, it doesn't, it's implied texture. It doesn't have a texture. It just looks like texture. Next we have from Paper Rose, Are We There Yet? Basics F. And it's this really nice like orange, um, orange triangle pattern on one side and stars on the other. So both sides match that really well. And next we have from Photo Play, Falling Stars Plaid. So it's plaid on the A side and falling shooting stars on the B side. And last, from the Ch Echo Park Checkerboard Summer line, this one is Cobalt. So it's the Cobalt Blue. So those are the papers that come in this month's kit. And I'm going to just scoot everything a tiny bit over so it's not going off the edge of the page here. Or the edge of the screen, I'm sorry. Okay. Now, next we will move on to all the embellishments, and there are a lot, and a lot of good ones. So first we're gonna start with this Wherever Acetate Assortment. It's 45 pieces. You can tell here that there are not just the film strips. It's all different acetate pieces in here. So I'm gonna show you just a few. Of course, we have the film strips and a stamp and butterfly. There is like a map of the world, some foliage, some other little maps. These will make great layering pieces for all sorts of layout. The Eiffel Tower, hot air balloon, airplane, railroad crossing sign. It's all different, all different road trippy type of embellishments. But then once you get through all of those icons, then you have some of these amazing frames and the um, film strip acetate pieces too in, in three different colors three different colors yeah three different colors so those are really really amazing and they are great for layering photos 
Okay, and then next we have the Cedar House Ephemera. This is the 70 piece. I believe this is the one that has the gold foiling on it. Sorry. Some of these are on vellum and some of these are on chipboard. So you've got a bunch of vellum. You know, this is hard to see on this paper with the pattern. I'm gonna pull this one out. Since it's vellum, it's opaque. I mean, it's, it's transparent. So it was hard to see those on that other paper because it had such a big pattern. Chill out, find your wild. There's a lot of vellum. And then you've got listen to your heart and you've got a bunch of smaller um, cardstock ephemera pieces. And then some of these, of course, have some of the icons from the paper, like from this paper. Okay, we've got all those. There's just a ton of them. Urban Life. And then we've got this, the larger pieces, which include all of these. So there's 70 pieces all together. There are just so many amazing pieces of ephemera in this pack, enough for a ton of heavily embellished layouts. I'm gonna just keep setting these out. We're almost to the bottom. A couple different cassettes, some journaling pieces, tags. Okay, we've got all of those. Okay, so that's a great um, ephemera pack right there. It's like lots. And then next we've got a pack of not just for boys buttons. I believe there's 18 buttons in there. There's six each of three different colors that coordinate well. And then we've got the Pink Fresh Tourist Mode Alphabet. So that is 222 pieces. There's the front and the back. It includes some numbers at the bottom. And that color just matches really well with the kit. And then the last uh, embellishment that comes with this kit is the 49 and Market Wherever Laser Cut Elements. So they're the same line as these and some of the papers. And they're, they're laser cut elements. So let me get these open and I'll show you how these work. Okay, so there's four sheets in here and it's 101 pieces all together. So this is the, the packaging has cut apart. So these are not laser cut on the packaging. These are, you have to cut them apart, but that is an added bonus. And then there are four sheets in here. They're attached, I, I believe this is counting as one sheet. One, two, three, four. And these are nice, heavy cardstock. They're laser cut. So fine, fine details are cut out of these. Like, let me try to pull out this car for you. You can see like even the windows are cut out, the windows in the car. So since they're laser cut, they can do some really fine details. Like the foliage right here has just, you kind of have to pop them out. So you have to be a little careful, but they're real easy to pop out. But see how fine the foliage is? Same with these words, let's go and discover. So there is all sorts of um, pieces here for all sorts of different kinds of layouts. So I will put those away. There's 101 pieces of those total. Okay, I'm gonna leave this sitting here somehow. So you can kind of see everything. And this is what is included in the Limitless kit this month. It's just these five packs of embellishments and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sheets of paper. Yeah, nine sheets of paper, double side paper, and five packs of embellishments. So that is the Limitless kit. And then I'm gonna pull out four items that are in the Essentials Kit. So the Essentials Kit just makes your kit go a little longer. When I make my videos this month, I'm gonna be using the Limitless Kit and the Essentials Kit both together. And I know last month we ran out of the Essentials Kits pretty early on in the month, I think like the first or second day of the month. Um, so hopefully that won't happen this month. We've ordered extra of those, so hopefully those won't sell out so quickly. But in general, our kits are selling out a little bit quicker than they have been in the past. So um, if you're thinking you might want one, you might want to get it sooner than later because um, yeah, they're just going a little faster than they used to probably due to the process videos that I've been making lately. Um, okay, so this is the essentials kit then. It comes with a Pink Fresh Making the Best of It 
puffy title stickers. There's 72 pieces in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. And these are awesome. They say all kinds of things. Love you, perfect is boring, roll with it, just us, sunny, smile, it's all good, simple and sweet, do your thing, the best memories, small joys, grow in love, dance it out, you and me, the good life, happy place, and sunshine. So those are amazing titles that aren't typical. Like, I don't see dance it out often. Um in titles or perfect is boring. So they're kind of nice, roll with it. You know, they're just a nice refreshing titles there. And then it's got the other pack of Cedar House Ephemera. Okay, it's different from this pack. So this pack is 72 pieces and let me show you the difference here. So this one right here comes in the kit and it has more labels and tags and things. And this one comes in the essentials kit and it's more um, icons and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one facing like that while I unbox and open this one and show you. Okay, so first we've got, these are also, some of them are foiled. Some cameras, butterflies, mushrooms. Yeah, there is gold foil on some of these too. Oh, these headphones are all gold foiled. They're just a variety of icons here. I'm going kind of fast because there's a lot. And then these are the bigger ones. And there are some in here that are also vellum, I guess. So the little peace sign is vellum. This butterfly is vellum. A few different vellum ones right here. Feathers, flowers. There's a lot in these. Oh, all these little cassettes are so cute. Okay, more cassettes. So we've got a lot of pieces in this ephemera pack. Okay, and a record and more. So that is the second. I'm not too sure why they're leaving them in this carrier sheet because usually American Crafts doesn't do that. Usually they're all punched out. So I'm not sure what that deal is, but some of them are still in their carrier sheets. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, and then the next item in there is a pack of trim and it's just three yards of trim. It's one yard each of three different trims. So I will show you that there is this one with like a little bit of foliage type pattern on it. This is like a crocheted lace type pattern and then black rickrack. So those trims come in the essentials kit. And then last but not least in the essentials kit is 49 and market, the teal ephemera stackers. There's 60 pieces in here and it's huge. They're perfect for layering. They're all kinds of tags and scraps. Let me show you. It's just all kinds of tags and tabs and labels and layers, postcards, more tags, tickets, a faux envelope. And it is this teal color, so it coordinates real well with this kit. I'm just going through these really quick. Ooh, there's some bigger ones back here. And then a little bit of smaller ones. These look like letters. Wow, there is a lot of pieces in here, guys. And then the packaging, of course, you can reuse too. So this is a pretty amazing um, pack of ephemera. So that is the essentials kit and the limitless kit. And from the look of all of these pieces, these kits are gonna go a really long way. There is a lot of pieces in them. So I am going to pack up all these embellishments and get them off to my surface here. And then I'm gonna show you um, the colors that I picked from my mixed media that I think coordinate with these kits. Um, um, some of the things are available in the store, some of them are not. But um, yeah, I know that a lot of us have a lot of the Distress Oxide ink and we like to know what colors match and coordinate with the papers. So I'm gonna show you what I picked out that I think matches with this kit and these papers. So I will be right back in just a second when I have some room here. A lot here. of us have a lot of Distress Oxide inks and, or Distress inks in that, for that matter. 
and these are the colors that I thought went really well with this kit. So the first thing is this um, Uncharted Mariner and Scorched Timber. And this is the new color that just came out, the last color, and we do have this one in the shop. Crushed Olive looks really great with this. Hickory Smoke looks really great with this. Um, crackling Campfire. Black Soot. Speckled Egg. At the time I'm filming this video, I do believe we have Speckled Egg in this store as well. And Vintage Photo. So those are the eight colors of Distress Oxide Ink that I pulled. So if you have any of these colors in your stash and you're following along, you might want to pull them out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all eight of them, but but I like to narrow down my color selection um, when I'm working from a kit so I'm not overwhelmed by all the ink in my scrapbook room. And then I pulled a few um, mixed media products such as the Distress Oxide Black Soot Spray. That again is available in our store. The Nuvo Mica Mists, this one is Pompous Grass. And this color is Barrel Swirl. And I know they look very similar. This one's a little bit greener. This one's a little bit bluer. Um, the Nuvo Expanding Mousse in Natural Cotton, and this is available in our store. It expands with a heat gun. And then I pulled a few Nuvo drops that I thought matched. This one is Crystal Drops in Auburn Pearl. This one is um, Stone Drops in Lady Liberty, and this one is available in our store. This one is the um, Jewel Drops in Gray Mist. I believe that's also available in the store. And this one is Stone Drops in Morning Fog. So that is the mixed media that I pulled that I thought would go really nicely with this kit. Again, um, yeah, I wouldn't go out and buy all of these things. It's just stuff that I think matches. So if you have some of those, you might wanna pull them out. And I'll probably be using some of them, a variety of them on my layouts. Okay guys, here are the cuts that are available, the new cuts that are available in the store this week. And I'm going to start with the cuts that coordinate with the Limitless kit. So we have the My Playlist. And whoop, all that, all that awesome in one kid. We have a set of car keys. And then we have a little scooter Vespa, cute little scooter. Okay, and then we have sequins that coordinate with the offbeat kit and these little sequins. The colors match all the colors in the offbeat kit and then you can see that there are little um, little music notes sprinkled in there too for the offbeat. Okay, so those are those and then We've got some, um, let me scooch this over to give myself some room. We've got some different acrylics available. First of all is this peace sign and it's available in five different colors. Okay, we've got, it's available in cobalt, asphalt, rust, forest green, and wildflower. Okay, and then we have the, uh, the phrase, I can't even. And that is also available, but in cobalt, asphalt, forest green, and rust. Okay, and finally we have the phrases go, go, go. And those are available in the cobalt and black, the rust and black, the forest green and black, and then multicolor. So those are all of the acrylic um, embellishments and paper cuts, cardstock cuts that are available in the a la carte section of the store this month in the sequence. And then for Easter, we have a few items in the store that um, are just for some Easter embellishments and some Easter fun. The first is a cut that says Happy Easter. And then we have four little tabs that say Easter egg hunt, Easter and egg hunt, just in all, all four different colors. Then we have a little set of peeps in all four colors, the yellow, purple, um, like a rose color and green. And then we have 
some little tags, these two little bunny tags. They're available in this color combination. And then, oh, let me get this one. And then the opposite with the wood tags and the acrylic inserts. And then these little bunnies that say Happy Easter on them. It's engraved. Oh, these match my nails pretty nicely. So those say Happy Easter. And that's a three piece little bunny. And then we also have another color scheme. Okay, the other color scheme is this rose and purple color scheme. So you've got the acrylic tags with the wooden bunny inlays, and then the wooden tags with the acrylic bunny inlays, and then the trio of Happy Easter in those three colors. Okay, so there's all those acrylics. And then we have a an Easter sequin mix. I'm just gonna dump this a little bit of this out so you can see there's some sweet little Easter eggs in there, sprinkled in there. So those are the embellishments that we have for Easter. And now we will get back to the rest of the unboxing video. And lastly, I would like to show you the photos that I think that I'm going to be working with this month um, in this kit. And um, yeah, so the first set of photos that I pulled out are these, they are from 2018. They were taken on someone else's phone, not mine. So I do not have the originals to try to re-edit them a little bit clearer because they look like they have some fuzzy filter put over them. Anyway, I tried to scan these back in and edit them a little and make them a little clearer and crisper. We'll see what happens, but there's those photos. And then I have um, my son's pictures from our family pictures this past November. So my middle son, I thought the colors matched really good with those pictures. And then of course my youngest son, when we did family pictures, he also has a few of just him. So those matched really well to me, I thought. And then my husband and my middle son, my husband often takes him to soccer games that are about 100 miles away from our house. So they're on road trips together for those soccer games every couple months that he has one. So I thought this paper would be really nice to scrapbook that picture and tell how dad usually goes with him to his tournaments. So I pulled that picture. And then this picture was my son and his cousin at summer camp last year. And we don't really have any pictures during camp because there was no one at camp taking their picture, but this is a picture of them getting to camp, you know, that we took when we dropped them off. And I thought the picture, the colors looked good with this kit. And this is a picture of my son with his Mr. Beast bars. And he likes to watch YouTube and Mr. Beast is a YouTuber who came out with a candy bar. If you don't know who he is, you're lucky. The candy bars are completely overpriced at Fry's and Walmart, and he often gets them for birthday gifts and stuff like that. So he is very excited about his Mr. Beast bars and all these different pictures taken at different times. But I thought that the colors looked really great with this kit. So got that one. And finally, I have a set of pictures of my son from the ophthalmologist, just from a regular ophthalmology appointment. He goes to the ophthalmologist often because he has some problems with his eyes. So um, anyway, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layouts worth of pictures that I hope to get scrapbooked this month. So seven process videos. I'm hoping, you know, I hope to do one a week. So at least four or five, but the last few months I've been able to do, you know, seven or eight. So I'm hoping that this month will allow me the time to, you know, make process videos for all of these. That's why I pulled so many out. So that is my plan for the month of April. So thanks for watching guys. Um, and I will see you soon in a couple days with the first process video. And I'm not even sure which, which set of pictures I'm gonna use first. But thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.